So let's just start off uh, with uh, the main areas of focus for you. I know that you're focusing uh, predominantly on the construction of the Senderlings Drift uh, area. You're also looking to redesign uh, Elizabeth Bay as well. And also a big focus coming through on the development of technology. Give us an indication of the uh, capital expenditure going forward, given the fact that you have put key areas in focus thus far. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, indeed, those three projects are the immediate focus for NAMDE. And these are part of our mm, Life of Mine extension plan. Uh, we have been working to prove the level of confidence for these three projects. And in November last year and February this year, we got the uh, capital approval, first and foremost, in November for the recommissioning and the redesign of the eBay mine. Uh, we have spent and are spending about 70 million Namibian dollars to make sure that we are able to improve the recovery efficiencies and to be able to address some of the challenges that that complex or body of eBay has. Uh, secondly, the next focus is on the construction of a new mine uh, called the Centerlink Drift along the Orange River. We are planning to spend 280 million Namibian dollars uh, from about the second quarter of this year. And this mine is essentially to uh, replace the production from Dabras, which is another mine along the Orange River. And it is expected that it will be in full production uh, beginning of um, uh, 2014, end of 2013. And of course, the third project that you refer to is the red area complex project where we are going to rebuild our recovery plant as well as the um, access control facilities. Uh, these uh, recovery plants were built in the early uh, 70s, late 60s, and of course uh, the equipment are aged, uh, have become inefficient, and we therefore want to replace them with the state of the art uh, technology to improve efficiency, to be able to recover uh, more diamonds, and obviously to uh, to regulate yeah. the access control within this very, so Inga, if we very could, high risk area. If we could just touch on uh, the yields then going forward when you're talking about very high tech technology, you're obviously also just looking at ensuring that there is an increase in yield and you see a very strong return on investment going forward. So how's that then going to play out? Uh, what kind of assumptions have you put in place? Well, uh, we have internal investment hurdle rates that we have to meet before the projects get approved uh, by the board. And the board will not approve any project that does not meet those investment hurdles. All I can say, as far as Sendling Drift is concerned, it exceeds our internal investment hurdle rates. It's a very interesting project, and I think the shareholders are very happy that they have finally made this decision. Uh, we have always known about the uh, Senderling Drift O body, but we have a phased approach to the way we mine our O bodies. And while we were uh, busy dealing with um, mining Dabras, we were doing feasibility studies and improving the level of confidence in the Senderling Drift project. Uh, as, far, as far as eBay is concerned, the resource uh, capacity there is quite significant and it will be able to extend the life of yeah. mine uh, for some time. Inga, the problem could, though is that... If we could also just touch on how you're planning to uh, fund this cap expend, are you talking about that cash on hand is uh, Anglo-American uh, going to be assisting with the funding of the cap expend going forward? Now our philosophy has always been self-funding to generate uh, uh, cash from the ongoing business to then reinvest that into the growth of the business. So far, that has been our approach, and that is what we are intending to do at the moment. Um, it is some of these projects, the level of confidence are still to be improved and to be increased. And if you were to go out to external funders and ask for, for, uh, for capital, it will take you an increasingly uh, amount of time before you can get past the approval and investment decision. So 
knowing our philosophy and the confidence that the board has over the years, it is always easier to get capital from within the business. And that has been our approach. Of course, Anglo-American is now taking over the De Beers business, is becoming a shareholder of Namdev. But at this stage, we do not uh, expect that we'll be approaching them for capital mm -hmm. investment. We have already built in our business plan for the next three years the capital investment that we need for the uh, short to medium projects. Fantastic, Inga. We have to leave it there. Thank you so very much for joining us.